David Weiss. This is the same man who greenlit Hunter's sweetheart plea deal and let the statute of limitations expire on the more serious charges. Do you think there's a conflict of interest here? I don't know that there's a conflict of interest. I mean, a conflict of interest would mean that David Weiss has a personal interest in the outcome and he can't do his job. But what I understand is happening is that David Weiss has assigned an entirely new set of prosecutors to this case. These are not the same human beings that negotiated the plea deal that fell apart in the courtroom a couple of weeks ago. This is a far more aggressive team. In fact, one of them is not even from Delaware. He's from Maryland. So I think those who believe that Hunter Biden has been treated with kid gloves might be in for a happy surprise if they see a more aggressive prosecution. Now, what does a more aggressive prosecution mean? It means more charges for more crimes. The prosecutor can't change what the level of punishment is. You pay your taxes late. It's a misdemeanor. You don't go to jail for that. But if you mislead the government substantially on your taxes, that's not a misdemeanor. So we don't know exactly what other charges are out there that are still alive, meaning the statute of limitations hasn't run. But we do know that a different team is looking at them. Yeah, that's fascinating. We know that Gary Shapley, he was one of the whistleblowers, the IRS whistleblowers that testified on Capitol Hill, and he claimed under oath that Weiss was prevented from charging Hunter Biden with as many as three additional felony charges. So it'll be interesting to see if those, I guess, if the statute of limitations hasn't already expired. Are those now back on the table? Do you think this will really go to trial? I do think it will go to trial because this is a dangerous situation, not only for Hunter, but for his father. Right. You have a more aggressive team of prosecutors investigating the son. You have a whistleblower who says the son was selling influence by bringing his father on the telephone call while he's negotiating deals in Ukraine. You have the son receiving many, many times the income of whatever service he was providing was worth. The statute of limitations is five years here, except for certain income tax crimes. So it's going to depend on exactly when these events uh, occurred and what evidence the government comes up with. In terms of David Weiss being prevented from seeking an indictment, he still needs the consent of uh, Merrick Garland. He doesn't have to go through the various steps between him and the attorney general. He now reports exclusively and directly to the attorney general. If the attorney general says no indictment, there'll be no indictment. If the attorney general says, go ahead and indict for whatever you have evidence for, then presumably that's what David Weiss and his new team will do.